As a young fella, I grew up on what we now call retro sci-fi art, and it still hits me right in the feels. Here's a prompt that captures the essence of that retro sci-fi look. It goes, poster illustration, film poster, movie poster, 1960s poster, space art, sci-fi poster, space pictures, in the style of depictions of urban life, science fiction lands, Trump the old illusionistic detail, cushion empire, impressive panoramas, and distinctive noses. There are many facets to this prompt, but some can be grouped together. The first four parts of this prompt are going to tell the AI to use poster aesthetics. Then there's a bunch of terms that relate to science fiction aesthetics. These terms will skew the subject of your picture, such as with these knights who now look like astronauts, or these goblins who now look like aliens. The trompe the old illusionistic detail and cushion empire terms will influence the art style, but the most important part of this prompt is where it says 1960s. This will influence everything. Using this prompt, you will get an illustrative style that saw popular use in the 60s and 70s. Your pictures are going to look like airbrush paintings and oils on canvas. They'll have a limited color palette offset by brilliant reds, such as with these robots or these backdrops. People in your pictures are going to look like their retro pulp pinup models. And robots are going to be stylistic. While necromancers are going to look like suave madmen. Now what makes these pics look like they were made by a person, as opposed to AI, largely lies in the fact that this style was popular well before computers became mainstream. So the style itself comes from a very analog era. The grey-blue silver here is iconic. And the shadows in these pics often drop straight into what looks like heavy use of black ink, making the style high contrast. In some pics, you'll see brush strokes, like here. And airbrush-like gradients often colour skies, such as in these pics. This retro sci-fi art style prompt works great when you want to tug on the old nostalgia strings, making things look operatic, and it's great at making things look epic in scale too. And that's it for our retro sci-fi look. If you're interested in more ways to make your pictures look like they were made by a real person, why not check out this video right here? Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.